guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and you enjoyed your Memorial Day weekend. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my closet tour, which is right there. You guys can tell I took the door off because I want the closet to be kind of like, um, just kind of connected to the rest of the room. I'm gonna go ahead and just take you guys through. It's gonna be a very informal type of tour because the closet isn't completely finished, but a ton of you wanted to see a progress video. So I am gonna be inserting some clips um, of what my closet used to look like and it, it did have shelves that the builder put in and I just did not like the shelves at all I felt like there was a lot of waste of space and I couldn't do much and the way that they had the railing done like there was, just wasn't enough Room I just didn't like it. So we went ahead and took everything out and we did a whole IKEA system And I really like the way it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, so this is the view from out here the there's a little sitting area and then you walk in and this is what you see. So to the right, I have the DIY hanging cloth rack. I just added that picture frame right there, which you guys have seen that a ton and I just thought it went perfectly in here. I also added these track lights. These are from Ikea, super inexpensive. I think I paid like $30 for them. And I mean, if you guys have ever looked at lighting, you know, these can run anywhere between 100 to 150. So that's the pack system, and that's where the clothing rack is gonna go, which we haven't gotten in, and that's why you see the hangers like that. Uh, but then you come down, and this is also part of the pack system. You have the option to do like a glass shelf like this, and then I added two jewelry organizers, which I actually haven't really organized the jewelry that much, because I just, yeah, I, I don't know why. And then I added two jewelry sliding things just because I wanted one for accessories. And then underneath that, I added these glass drawers because you can see everything. And this one's gonna be for belts and scarves. And down here is where I keep all of my t-shirts. I have all my shorts and skirts over here, all my t-shirts, all of my jeans, and I still have tons of room back here to add even more clothes. Over here, I have all of my pencil skirts and sweaters. And you guys can see, I mean, there's no reason why I wouldn't be able to fit all of my clothes in this drawer. And then I have one more drawer on the way. It's just not here yet. Um, so when that drawer gets here, that gap is gonna be closed down because then we're gonna move all of this, shift it all down a little bit so that there's more room for the clothes to hang. And then up there, I just keep all of my travel bags, like my cosmetic cases. And up here is where I keep all of my jewelry. Um, I got I get these acrylic organizers from places like Home Goods, sometimes the container store. This one is from Home Goods. And I think I got this white one from Ross as well. And then you guys remember those decorative boxes that I got from Home Goods along with that flower. I just featured it in my recent haul. And here's a view of the other side. One side I just keep all my bags, and the other side I keep all of my shoes. Uh, and then up there is where I have all of my winter clothes, just folded sweaters. And then I have some boxes where my bags came in and I just keep like the receipts and important things like that. That's my camera bag where I keep all of my camera equipment in. So here is another overview. You guys might remember that little stool that I got a while back from Target. I used to have that in my living room, but it's just, it fit perfectly in here because when I'm putting on my shoes, I use that to sit down. And I just got this super cute beach bag from the outlet stores. We're getting ready to take a trip. So I have that out there so I can put all of my beach essentials in there. And on this clothing rack is where I keep all of my dresses, all of my blouses that can't be folded. Basically anything that will get wrinkled if I put it in a drawer. So up there, I am gonna be putting shelves, all of that all the way up, and more shelves and more shelves. And I'm also going to be putting shelves on this side. I'll show you what, I don't wanna blind you guys, but that is what you see when you're in my closet. Our neighbor helped us with the whole closet. He's really good at um, building things and building shelves and he has all the equipment. So we're so fortunate to have his help. I hope you guys enjoyed this closet tour. I hope the lighting was okay. I 
do the best I could. I'll keep you guys updated on the final results, but you can always follow me on Snapchat for daily updates. It's at Miss Liz Heart. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave if you're not already subscribed. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.